I mean, this is a big game. Cloud started the season so excellent, Ben. He was 2-0 in best of threes, but now he's on 2-2. He's slacking. If he would lose today against Braddock, who's at the bottom of the division, Braddock, who uh, just like, uh, who's the other guy? Yeah, Wang Sin, was at the end of his whole season two offline finals. I think Braddock even won his first series there, and then he, uh, he went on and he lost in the round of eight. I mean, Braddock is 0-4 this season. That is a surprise. Uh, but Braddock has displayed in the past that he has pretty damn good TVT. Mm -hmm. I even remember him beating Mouse Storzane, uh, now of course EG Storzane, at the gathering barely a month ago Yep. in a best of five. Then he did end up losing to uh, by far the best player in the world, Lucifron. Yes, but hands no down the best in the world. There's no shame in that. Of course, guys, we're sarcastic right now, but we do think that Lucifron is Why very, you're very sarcastic. good. Lucifron is the best player on the planet. <laughs> yeah, Lucy, no, Lucy is amazing, and uh, I can't wait to see him play more and more. But yeah, Braddock has showed it to us that he has good TVT. But I don't know, Ben. I think Cloud is going to bounce back after his rocky previous two weeks. I think he's going to take it. Uh, I bet Cloud. You know, Lucifron, when like on the weekends, he is a sprinter. His uh, his his performance name is Usain Bolt. <laughs> I would not be surprised. It's true, man. Um, yeah, I think Braddock's TVT is excellent, and and we talk about this often when we talk about Cloud. He's a very emotional player. And given, like, like recently, he's kind of, I don't know, I just, I haven't been seeing the best of Cloud, which, I mean, it, it makes me feel terrible because I love Carlo, but um, he's not been, he's not been on top of his game recently, and I, 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 I mean, that's the kind of... Uh, for the people who wonder right now, it's like, hey, wait a second, four weeks ago you guys were hyping him, and now suddenly you're saying the complete opposite, yes, that's how quick things can go. Uh, I do agree with you on that, man, despite me thinking that... I think Cloud is going to take this series. I love Cloud, and a month ago he was playing awesome StarCraft, but the last two, three weeks, uh, or let's say two months ago he was awesome, a month ago he was awesome, but then, I don't know, maybe some things happened in his private life, he just he just shines yeah, less, man. He's he like a butterfly. He hasn't seen focused, you know? <laughs> He's like a butterfly. Yeah, and he, he hasn't spread his wings in the butterfly last Butterfly that flew too close to the fire. Yeah. He's hurt, but hopefully uh, Cloud will bounce back. He's good enough to do so. I still think Carlo is going to take it. And uh, yeah, but I mean, if Braddock takes it, so be it. Yeah, so yeah. My, my my money is on Braddock. I hate betting against Cloud, but uh, I feel like with the combination of Braddock's great TVT coupled with the fact that Cloud has not been showing the best games recently, I think that uh, I think that that's going to be enough to cause the chips to fall in Braddock's favor. We'll see, man. We'll see. We see both players opening up with the no gas fast expand build. Of course, a very common build order. Basically, in all matchups right now. I love how Terrence can just use it in every single matchup. Yeah, identical openings, but for whatever reason, Braddock's about 15 seconds ahead yeah. you know, on all counts. Uh, of course, Cloud is now going double refinery behind it, so we're going to have a, a heavy switch into some big tech for Cloud. Cloud is SUVs a little bit quicker. Is it? Yes. It is. Just oh so barely. So maybe that's the difference between the comments and the tactics. Mm -hmm. It's the only logical explanation I have. Braddock's follow-up is going to be just more barracks. This could be one of those, you know, 16 marine pushes that we, we talk about every now and then. Um, I don't think he's going to do that. I mean... Uh, ah, there's the gases. It's a very different build order. It's I mean, it's a very different match than PVT. I think uh, Braddock's just going to try to get a lot of marines uh, quick. Braddock uh, hasn't really scouted. All that he saw was Cloud. Is wall off, so he doesn't know if he has to deal with benches or not. That's why you want to get a lot of marines out early on. Then again, Cloud has a much better scout off, and Cloud knows that um, maybe that's why Cloud scout a little bit quicker as well than Bredo. Uh So Cloud knows what he's facing, Cloud knows he's doing the exact same thing, just slightly behind. But hey, that's also a reason enough to catch up because Bredo has to worry about more stuff than Cloud does. Yeah, it makes sense, makes plenty of sense. Uh, Orbital is done, and the natural of Braddock Clouds is also finishing up. And uh, he's got that factory, and, and with the reactor, is he going to make Hellions? He is going to make some Hellions. All right, so maybe... Um, maybe he studied Braddock's oh plan. Yeah, a little 1-1-1, one, 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 Terran style. And he knows about this. No, he's actually going to get a star put as well, so I think we might actually see a Medivac, dro uh, Medivac drop, man. Uh, dropping a couple of Hellions. You know, just yesterday, I played like a... Uh, this is a small side story. I played Nexus first against the Terran, who went this quick... Um, three or four Hellions with eight Marines and a Medivac. I have absolutely no idea how you can ever, ever defend that if you play Nexus first. Because you're forced to get sentries for other aggression, but sentries are super, super bad against that, and you barely have a stalk route. It's just, I don't understand how these pro processes do it. Man, I'm so jelly of <laughs> guys who can pull that off. It's, it seems impossible in my books, man. Impossible. It's not going to be drop, though. It's uh, as Cloud switches out the starport with that tech lab, and he's going to be making... Almost certainly. 
a raven. Okay. That was exactly what I was gonna predict. <laughs> oh, Cloud tries to pick up this ramp right now, but he's not gonna be able to uh, pull his spot. I'm curious to see why he's getting a raven that Yeah, what is that all about? Braddock is getting marauders though. Uh, all right. Yeah, he has a mara uh, marauder. <laughs> So, so that raven could totally negate the marauder. Where yeah. is the marauder? <laughs> no, he's in the main. Yeah, the marauder's in the main. Next up, boss. I'm here. Ready for action. It's like the slave driver, making sure the SEVs yeah. are staying. That PDD ain't stopping me. The taskmaster. Mind that gas. Doing a pretty good job. Pretty good. Yep. Proof. Pretty good. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, let's go. Okay, <laughs> I think he got it, man. I think this uh, Marauder has to be like an SUV on a smoke bake behind the refiner. Yeah. Like, what do you think he would do? Stealing gas. <laughs> Smack him with his concussive shells. 40, uh, 41 SUVs right now for Cloud, 39 for Braddock. So there you can perhaps see that uh, Braddock was a little bit more careful from time to time. Then again, Braddock is preparing for everything. While Cloud, like, I think he's just preparing for late game, man, with that yeah. Raven. Cloud's just going to go right into some uh, some heavy mech style. He's got two factors, the tech labs, a single one with the uh, the re uh, reactors, what that thing's called. I guess that Cloud uh, just wants to Raven to have it quick, A, to gather a lot of energy, and B, if Braddock would follow this quick mm -hmm. uh, expand up with a Cloak Banshee, uh, he would still have a lot of detection and he doesn't need to invest into turrets too much. That's my... Uh, now, Antigua is a map that is not bad for this kind of mech style. It's pretty easy to turtle out to three bases. And the whole concept of the mech army is to build this unstoppable, you know, driving force. Whereas the player that's going bio, Braddock, in this instance, wants to be able to utilize his mobility. And it's hard to do that on Antigua because there's just it's just three spots fairly close together. Then again, man, we've seen Braddock against Poopan at Antigua Shipyard, which was one of the craziest comebacks I've seen in a long time. Uh, but Braddock really picked excellent fights uh, with bio units. This kind of, you know, how this feels to me, Ben? I'm going to say this. It feels a little bit like Cass versus BCQT. Where Cass is often the one, uh, where, well, I mean, where BC is often the one trying to go mech, and Cass is often the one trying to go bio. I love that clash between those two excellent Eastern European terrains. Yeah, I can I can see that. Cass has got some of the best bio versus mech control yeah. that I've ever seen. He always seems to get good fights, and he's constantly catching opponents on C. Just really the key to playing against mech when you're playing a bio style just making sure you get position and you, and you take good fights and goody of course has learned uh, how to play mech from the absolute best you know who i'm talking about the funds is general oh i know goody yeah but you already said goody no when did i say goody you said goody has learned to play mech from the absolute best oh i thought that no i said carlo i think for cloud oh i think you, you just were no I you're so used to it okay. that, that you heard goody Maybe we could instant replay that. I'm pretty sure you said goody. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. I will double check that. I'll take a bet on that. I'm pretty sure I said Cloud or Carlo. Yeah? Yes. 20 bucks? 20 bucks is a lot, man. <laughs> In these economic times. <laughs> <laughs> you see Braddock getting uh, the upgrades done for his bio units as well. We have 37 Marines right now for Braddock. Only three Marines for Cloud. Cloud, of course, the Mackin player. He has seven Siege tank, 15 Hellions. I do like that a lot. Blue Flame is ready for him as well. I think it's gonna be pretty top for Braddock, man. Certainly with the Marino army only. Yeah, it's not. Uh, it's he only has three Marauders. Really not equipped to fight this. What is he doing? Not building Marauders against Mech. Is Imagine what I'm if curious suddenly about. like 15 mm -hmm. Hellions would swarm from here. Yeah, we might see a big Marine counter. I think that's exactly what Braddock's gearing up for. Uh, the thing is, Carlo Cloud has already passed like the halfway point, so he's already committed to this push. So even if oh. Braddock does huge damage, he doesn't have an answer to the army. These Marines are going to deal a lot of damage. Here comes one Siege Tank as well for Cloud Cloud. What are you going to do with it? He's going to oh, Siege up Braddock, over there. you definitely want to be able to kill the tank. Oh, SCV's in a great spot, and uh, one tank's going to be able to fall. Second tank is out of range, though, and doing massive damage. Uh, Braddock's attack is a good one. He takes out the expansion and, and kills a ton of workers, but there's just no answer to the army, Kev. Cloud is not completely Siege yet, though. He's going to need those pointy friends. Oh, That's what he does SCVs. right now. The SCV is just evaporating like they weren't even there. Wow, beautiful tank position by Cloud. You can see the back line of all those Siege tanks. But still, he has to be careful. We know how good uh, Marauders below Stimpaks, uh, below Metafax can be. But Cloud did finally clear up all these Marines over here, so I think uh, Braddock is in a world of trouble. I think it is... Uh, well. There's no other way to put it, Kev. The siege tanks are, are shelling the infrastructure of Braddock. His natural is more or less forfeit. He's lost 30, 40 SCVs. And um, yeah, Braddock definitely has his back up against it right now. 
And we were laughing about that point defense run, but it was pretty damn useful. Yeah, it, it turned out it was like the hero of the day. Here we go, Braddock gonna try to bust out one final time. SCV is coming forward, point defense run still doing oh, some work. Yeah, there's one in the back as well, which completely ne neglected those Marauders. Cloud is gonna have to reposition just a little bit though. He might actually end up well, losing most of these. terrible for things. Braddock, but, but uh, now reinforcements have arrived. Cloud, what are you doing? Oh, has to drop a scan. He's got no vision to the high ground. The Raven has been shot down. Um, the Orbiter well, is so low on HP. Braddock's oh, going to go for it once more, but with the tanks on siege, he's not going to be able to make it work. I wants to kill that Orbital, though. Nah, uh, Cloud's got this, man. He's got so many more units streaming forward. And while Braddock really? has done a pretty good job of mounting a defense, it's still just not going to be enough of one. You shouldn't forget that Cloud did end up losing that Orbital, and Cloud lost a lot of SUVs too, but Braddock's going for it once more. Uh, Cloud is sieged up. This is going to be probably the final engagement. If Cloud can clean this up, he's got it. And he, yeah, he yeah. is going to... Just kind of plow right through. Braddock dipping down to just about 35 supply. Forced to lift his natural. Feels like he can stick around. Of course, Braddock, not the kind of guy that, that wants to uh, to give up or say die. Food Marines joining in the fun as well. It's like, all right, guys, there's something in the air. We take care of it. <laughs> well, you just took out the entire army. It's kind of like the general of the army. Machine guns shooting at a skyscraper. After the city is abandoned because <laughs> of all the siege things, you know? Braddock has basically abandoned ship. He's all the way back up into his main. He's uh, he's forfeit everything that's down in the natural. There is a drop out on the map that's going to try and chase some of these reinforcing units. It's going to be a pick up a couple of these Hellions. Yeah, it's well. a tank, it's a Hellion. I mean, Cloud still has to be a bit careful. He knows that. Of course, right now he's in absolutely fantastic position. But how often have we seen a couple of Steam Marauders saving the day for a bio Terran? And Cloud just wants to make sure that's not going to happen. That's why he's setting up proper defenses right now. He is on two bases again, and he's uh, severely outmining Brad. Oh, yeah, his income is excellent. He's 1,100 minerals per minute to about 500. And uh, Braddock is... Well, he's, he's very clearly in a world of trouble. Now, we've seen him come back from dire straits before. Just last week against Puma, he did just that on this very map. But uh, I don't really see Cloud Ooh. allowing him back in this one. That is true, man. Why are you giggling? Because my legs really, really hurt. <laughs> from this, from the soccer? Yeah. Oh. I haven't been that active in years. We played some football with the boys. It was. I don't know if I would. It was. I did not enjoy this game. No, it was awesome. It was terrible. <laughs> it was really awesome. Meanwhile, Braddock is setting up a nice sandwich over here. But Cloud's army does look scary, Ben. There are siege tanks. There are unseech tanks, and more importantly, there are also Hellions. Uh, Cloud is bringing reinforcements right now, which, well, I guess he can afford that. This is not the entire army of Braddock, so. But sti yeah, still, if he ended up losing all those siege tanks, that would kind of that would kind of hurt. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be tough. Cloud is so aware of everything that's happening around him, seizing up just before these units get into range. And uh, Braddock, we can see that he wants to just try one final attempt at busting out, but I mean, he's gonna have to do it soon. He's yeah, got I so think he little go money left. Right now. Like he's building a factory right three, now. Three, two, one, here we go, man. You know what and I call it? off to the races. Braddock streams down the ramp. Marauder is trying to take out the siege tanks, but there are just too many siege tanks. Cloud easily holds there. Braddock GG's. And game number one goes to the Italian Stallion. And we have the... <laughs> All right, so 20 bucks? 20 bucks it is. Did, uh, did Kev say goody or cloud? Uh, since you said goody so convincingly, I guess you win. Has learned, uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. no. Ship it. So sad. So the sad. Said, you know. <laughs> oh, I know goody. Yeah. But you already said goody. I said goody. You said Goody has learned to play Mac from the absolute best. Oh, I thought that. No, I said Carlo. This is I think. Oh. <laughs> Can we play oh. from the top you one more time? No, 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 so no, no, no. Just one more time from the top. No, no. I don't want to hear it. No, I know Goody. No, this is not yeah. working out. She already said not, That wasn't quite the top. No. Okay, Van, you win 20 bucks. Nice. Congratulations. Free dinner for me tonight. Easy. Who says I'm going to give it to you today? Oh. You might have to it's wait like the uh, it's like the face of the guy that's like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. That game brought to you guys by Twitch TV, our streaming partner. Everybody knows Twitch, but we love them more than you do. We're gonna take a quick commercial break, and then we'll be back with more StarCraft 2. So don't go.